I'm fascinated by the story of big history, which is the journey that our universe took from the Big Bang to where we are today. And there's one commonality when you look at this story, and that's that we've evolved ever more complex structures in our universe from the very beginning until today. So for example, the first elementary particles that coalesced eventually into stars and then they grouped into galaxies, you've had this evolution of ever more complex structures. And human society is just really an extension of that natural trend. We're not developing as an exception to the rule. We're really just an extension of what the universe was doing anyway. You also look at the energy rate density of creatures that have evolved over billions of years you'll see that the protista, the first sort of single-celled photosynthetic organisms, had managed around 90 microwatts of useful energy conversion per gram of body weight. And this increased non-linearly as well as evolution took place. So hunter-gatherers were managing around 4,000 microwatts per gram of body weight. And today we're managing 200,000 microwatts of useful energy conversion per uh, of body weight. And this is, of course, aided by technology, fossil fuels, etc. But really, if you look at these two trends, complexity and energy rate density, we are really just extending what was happening anyway. In other words, human development is not against nature. It's really just an extension of what nature was already trying to do. In other words, it's inevitable. It is natural to see an exponential departure from the previous way of doing things. In other words, it's natural to do things that are unnatural.